So how does the brain process music? Put the headphones on with the red headphone to the right ear and the blue headphone to the left. This perception experiment is one of several conducted in this University of California lab by Diana Deutsch. One ear gets the following. And at the same time, the other ear gets But the subjects never perceive those patterns. Well, I hear, um, I hear two melodic patterns in contrary motion, and they begin an octave apart, and then the one on the right ear is higher, and it descends in an ascent. Just over and over and over again. And then there's one on the left ear, which is low, and begins an octave below that. What is going on in the brain? This is the input to one ear, and this to the other. Together, the brain constructs two new melodies. We'll separate one out. It's made up from notes that are as close in pitch as possible. Diana Deutsch believes that's what we are used to hearing with natural sounds. Similar sounds are likely to be coming from one source and different sounds from different sources. So with this type of pattern, it makes sense for the listener to assume that tones in one frequency range are coming from one source and tones in another frequency range from a different source. We therefore perceptually reorganize the tones in accordance with this interpretation. We are reorganizing this orchestra so we can hear a remarkable example of this effect. The musicians who play the second violin part are moving to their 19th century position on the right. The passage will be from Tchaikovsky's Sixth Symphony, written when orchestras were arranged this way. With the second violins now on the right, the first violin section remains on the left. This is the first violin part. It's intended to go with this second violin part. Now, together, something new emerges. Just as in the lab experiment, our brains hear a melody that no instrument is playing. Now here's the piece in its full musical context. It's a perfect example of the complexities that appear when you try to analyze how music and mind interact. music? That is a difficult question to answer. 